Welcome back. Let's go ahead and finish this lesson up. Okay, last piece. We've done over, gone over pricing, gone over place, gone over promotion. Now we're going to talk about our last one, probably the most important of all, products, okay? You've had your flyers, you've had your promotional parties, you've done whatever you can, and your, you've, your person's bought it, you, they've handed you money, and you, they've, you've shipped them their good, and they get their good. Are they satisfied? Are they, do they, did they receive the value that you promised? All of the promises you made in your commercials, it's the best, it's the fastest, there's nothing better than our product. They're finally eating your sandwich, they're finally receiving your service, whatever it is. Did they really receive the value that you promised them and are they satisfied? If they're satisfied, then they're good to go. They'll take your, they'll take your product, they'll use it and they'll be happy and you'll be happy because you got the money that you asked for. If they're not satisfied, if they don't get that value that, that you promised, they have the option to always, most companies, it's just, it's a customer right almost nowadays for you to be able to return something, okay? If you spent all of this money getting them the products, and now they're like, you know what, we don't want it because it's not good enough, then you've just lost money. You've lost a lot of money, okay? And you've lost the opportunity to make money, okay? So the product has to deliver value or else you're not, you're not going to be in business very long, okay? Um, Nike, do you have, do you own anything in your house that has the Nike swoosh on it? Probably most people do. I have a shirt, maybe some shorts. I think not very much, but anyway, what's so special about that swoosh? Why, why did, why do, why does Nike put it on their stuff? Why, why not? You don't see every company putting their logo on every single thing they produce, but that is one of the most common things that, that Nike puts on, it puts them on everything, right? You see, it, you see it on sporting events and 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 uh, national ath uh, professional athletes jerseys and things like that. It's, it's everywhere. Okay. People buy Nike not only because of their high quality, but because of their of their branding. They buy it because everybody knows Nike. Everybody knows that it's a high quality, well known product, and 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 uh, people buy it because other people will see them as athletic or cool or popular. Uh, and so that's one reason why Nike has been successful. They've done a great job in their marketing in, in making everybody believe that Nike is a, a cool thing to buy and that if you buy it, that you'll be cool and that you'll be athletic and everybody will like you. So again, people buy things not only for what the physical product is, but also the way they feel and, and the way that uh, other people see them for, for buying that product and wearing that product. A uh, short little story here for you. I can't remember. I wish for the life of me I could remember where I was. But I was somewhere, and I overheard a conversation, and it was between two ladies, and one lady says to the other, you'll never guess how much money this shirt cost me. And the other lady says, ah, it looks like a nice shirt, maybe 100 bucks." I was like, whoa, 100 bucks? That's insane. And the lady's like, no. It cost me five hundred dollars. It's such a nice shirt. I love it, and I just was, I was blown away. I'm like, how could you spend five hundred dollars on one shirt? I could, I could burn all of my most of my clothes and buy them all back for five hundred dollars. There's no way I'd ever spend five hundred dollars on one shirt. There's, there's nothing you could put on a shirt that would make me spend five hundred dollars on a shirt. What's well, impossible? And I, I, so I looked, I like kind of looked and I looked at her shirt. I was like, is it made out of gold or does it have like a built-in cell phone or something? I don't know. I was trying to figure out why anybody would spend $500 on a shirt. And after, after I looked at it, it was like, it looks like a normal shirt to me. Nothing out of the ordinary. It was definitely nice. It looked nice, but like couldn't tell why anybody would buy $500. I was thinking about like, why, why would somebody spend $500 on a shirt like that? And I thought about it, I thought about it, I thought about it. I'm like, it's because she now has bragging rights. She can now brag to her friends like, yeah, I bought a shirt for $500, no big deal. That now, she now can see herself as successful, as rich, as wealthy, as high class. And other people, be, now that they know that she has a $500 shirt, people are going to look at her as, oh, wow. She's high class. She's cool. I want to be like her. That feeling that that shirt gives her was worth five hundred dollars. And every time she wears that shirt, she's gonna feel like five hundred bucks. She's gonna feel popular and well liked and respected because she's so wealthy, you know. And so there's there's so much that goes into um, 
into purchasing that that's and that's why I love marketing because it's such a such, it's a science you know um, kind of finishing a product uh, the product the business is delivering really depends on what type of business it is you remember back to our, our previous lesson um, different companies produce lots of different things um, you'll never see a TV commercial for steel beams you never will okay uh, but you'll see lots of Lots of Walmart commercials, okay? Um, you'll never be watching, well, I shouldn't say never, but you won't be watching YouTube. You won't see a, a commercial for your local dentist, right? You see those in local newspapers, local advertising, okay? So there's lots of different ways that marketing is done. And if you do it correctly, you can reach your customers, and then you'll have more customers come buying your products. So again, back to just wrapping up here, what is marketing? Marketing is telling your customers that your product has value and convincing them to come buy it. Okay, that that's what marketing is all about. That's their, that's their goal. All of the research, all the things that they do, is is to get customers to believe that their product has value, so that you want to come and buy it. And to to put a cap on this lesson, why is it important? Why do I need to know what marketing is for my business to be successful? Um, you can have the best product. You can have the best best place to sell it have the best, um, the, a really good price laid out, but if you if, if people don't know you exist or don't know how to buy your product or don't know where to buy it, then you're going to go out of business so fast because you don't have any customers. Without marketing, you don't have any customers. You've got to be good at, you've got to be good at marketing or else your business will not last very long. That's it for today. Thanks so much for listening. Uh, go ahead and finish up this assignment now. You should be able to go back and do this assignment that's attached to this video. Have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions.